In light of September 11, we discovered not only the difficulties of the job of firefighters, but all the first responders uh, who go to the scene of a disaster. Well, when I look back on what happened, I feel very sad for the fire service. They did their best. They used the tools and deployment uh, strategies that were in place at the time. It was truly a moment for pause and thought, could we do better? The only purpose for engineering is to help people, to enable firefighters and then other responders uh, remain relatively safe as they do their job. With the Worcester Cold Storage Warehouse fire, when six firefighters lost their lives, at that time they had zero technology to help them. As I was standing along the route of the procession, it just occurred to me, this is a problem that technology has to be able to solve. WPI being an integral part of this community, it was truly an, an amazing thing to have those guys step up and say, this is our hometown, those were our firefighters, we will take the advanced minds and technology that we have right here in this city and work and solve this problem for our own firefighters. And, and they understood that it was bigger. They understood that it was bigger than just Worcester. So we were well underway when, when the, uh, the attack of 9-11 happened and we certainly can't say that we would have saved everybody's life. We would have been able to save some people's lives. When a firefighter walks into a fire, they can only see about one to two inches in front of their face. Smoke completely obscures everything else. All they can do is feel a wall as they walk by it and feel the openings and try to remember how many turns that they've taken, which way they're oriented. The question is, how do you keep track of them? At WPI, we focused on the RF, a solution that's using radio waves through triangulation to work out where the individual people are inside the building. Because say someone is slumped up against the side of a wall, you need to know which side of that wall they're on because maybe the rescue team has to come in a different stairwell, go through a different doorway. And they brought us in from the very beginning to try and um, give them our input on what it was that we needed to be able to find firefighters in three dimension inside of a building that has a, a complex system of uh, rooms and hallways and passages. The gold standard is a system that shows to the incident commander where all of his or her personnel are uh, inside the building. And, and we're making great progress on that. WPI has been sponsoring a workshop for the past six years. We ask participants to share their techniques, their successes, and their failures. This has been incredibly important to the development of technology for first responders. This past year's workshop was sponsored by the Department of Homeland Security, uh, which now sees this annual workshop as the point of exchange for information that helps drive all of us. We've been developing search and rescue systems wherein a rescuer uh, can carry a device that simply points in the direction to the person to be rescued. We've actually developed a wireless pulse oximeter device that could be integrated into the face mask of a first responder and then that would then convey to the incident commander the vital sign information of the first responders. So if one was to get into to trouble there, maybe the incident commander could extract the person. Recently, we finished work on a flashover prediction system. To add in some kind of a prediction of how long it is until the rooms that they're in are going to become deadly. And giving that information, that time to that critical event, to the commander so he would know when to call them up. WPI's approach to education really, really fit this, this project uh, perfectly. One faculty member calls another. We have the opportunity to bring students in, into this work very, very closely. First responders have access to technology today that they would not have had before. We want to bring together all of engineering and policy to increase fire safety in the world. We feel like it's an obligation and a passion to, to solve this for first responders. Uh, so we're going to do whatever it takes individually and collectively with the community uh, to solve this problem.